Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today's video is a massive, and I do mean massive, closet organization. We are going A to Z from planning to pulling every single thing out. We're gonna be putting together organizers and then getting everything back in and situated. We definitely ran into a few hiccups along the way, but we've made it all work out and it looks beautiful. I really hope that it inspires you to pull every single thing out of your closet if you need to, or just to transition your wardrobe from one season to the next. And towards the very end of the video, I have a really kind of fun idea that I thought could bring some life to your closet. It will not only add some artwork, but it will inspire you to shop your own closet a little bit better. So definitely stay tuned till the end for that. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe. This this is how I have it mapped out. So my idea is to put four um, cube systems here or two cube systems with four cubes in each. And then I'm thinking about putting my jewelry on top. I'm not, I haven't measured this space though because I ended up getting different cube systems and what I anticipated getting. So I didn't measure that. So I'm not really sure. So I haven't ordered like jewelry organiz organizers because that could change. Um, and then my idea is to put sweaters, blazers, then tees, then jeans and blouses, then non-jeans. And I just feel like this would be a good way to shop my own closet. Then my idea here, and you're gonna see a lot of question marks, is maybe some back stock and dresses for the off season I'll put up here. Um, maybe some bottoms or tops for the off season, but I do wanna kind of minimize this and really only put up the stuff that like for sure I'm not going to use at all during winter, like a crocheted a crop top. I'm definitely not going to use that during the winter. And then here I'd like to hang bags. I'm going to go ahead and probably invest in those bag hangers because they're still just on normal hangers. And I feel like they're kind of messing with, they're messing with the shape of my bag a little bit. Um, and then over here, we're going to have like um, my bras, I think are going to go in here. I have a hanging thing for them now. And then belts, shoes, 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 and shoes, um, socks, leggings, maybe some undergarments in here, or athletic and comfy clothes, maybe my storage bags and dust bags. So a lot of this is question marks because I didn't count my shoes. So I don't know how many cubbies I'm actually going to be taking up. And then of course over here, I'm going to have all of the shoes that I wear on a daily basis in their organizers. And then um, bags are up here. I'm gonna pretty much keep this system. Um, it's not like the most beautiful, but it fits all the bags and I can see what they are. And so I'm more likely to use them that way. I definitely don't want any of my bags tucked away. Then dresses, coats, and slips maybe. And I'm not really sure the order that it's going to hang here, but that's basically what's there now. And I'm probably just going to keep that. Um, I would like a picture here just to kind of beautify it a little bit, maybe some hooks to hang out my clothes. I already have one there now. And then, but I might also do that here. And then these are my goals just in general, better jewelry storage, shoes, get everything off the floor and no open or empty space. Okay, so here is what it's looking like right now. And I'm just gonna kind of walk through my thought process behind why I'm changing when I'm changing. So as you see, shoes clearly are an issue. Um, I definitely need to get all of that stuff up off the floor, but it needs to be accessible because I use it on a daily basis. I do have a hanger here now, but I actually might move it to the opposite side and just hang a picture here. And then I want everything to be uniform. So that's my issue with this space up here. It was just very temporary. And I have these, I have five of these. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna need any more once I pull it out. So that's kind of how it's gonna be like a moving process um, while I'm filming this video, just to figure out what I need and get that stuff ordered if I need it. Um, and then all right here, I'm going to have complete clothes on this. That's why I'm gonna pull out my off season stuff and try to keep it because I tend to throw everything here, as you can see. Basically, I take something off and I just throw it. So I need the space to be full, so I can't do that. And then this is what I was talking about with my bags. They're on these hangers and it's not great. I need to get some, they're expensive, so I didn't want to invest in them at first, but I think, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna have my closet like this for a long time. And it's just, I need to be able to see all my bags or else I won't use them. So 
I have to keep that there and I'm hoping that they'll kind of fit right in this space and I can kind of tuck everything this way and then have my cube systems and then my jewelry, which is literally getting squashed, have it kind of on top of those cube systems. Now, when I moved in, I knew shoes were gonna be an issue. So I just stuck them in bins and I had them all like sitting upright and nice, but um, you know, the second I take one pair of shoes out, they all fall over. So I knew I was gonna have to deal with that. So my goal here is to use the shoe organizers that I showed you in the girls video. I'll link that below. I use them in their closet and I absolutely love them. So I'm going to use those here, but only have the shoes out that I use on a daily basis. Like <laughs> I love these. Aren't they pretty? But I wear them maybe maybe once a year. So they're gonna get put away unless I just happen to have extra space and I wanna display them, but I highly doubt that. So I'd also like to get this stuff off the floor. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, but that's a goal of mine. So <laughs> there it all is, the chaos of this space right now. Oh, also I want to mention, so I have my bras and some of my undergarments on these like hanging things I got from Amazon. I do think they're a really great product if you need to hang your bras and or underwear. However, they aggravate me. So I wanna get all of my bras in the cube system. Now I obviously have a dresser, but I just like having everything in the space I get ready in. So I've decided to keep them in here instead of putting them in our dresser and just let Dustin completely have that dresser, especially since his closet is smaller than mine. I'm starting out by removing every single thing from my closet and I've hung up a clothing rack in my bedroom and so I'm just gonna get everything out of there and onto this clothing rack. Let me know in the comments if you have wire shelving, if you have a custom system or you have something different because I would imagine that the vast majority of us probably have wire shelves and while I think like a custom closet is wonderful and beautiful and is it something I'm thinking about? Yes, but it's not really a blip on my radar. I'll likely have wire shelving for at least another couple years, but wire shelving does not mean that your closet can't function really well. A lot of people don't realize also that they do like closet systems with just wire shelving and it's around $200 probably the last time I priced it. So it's probably more like three to 400 now, but still that's way less expensive than doing a full custom closet that's all wood. And so you really just wanna think through like the best way to maximize the space that you have. And so definitely, like I always suggest, live with the space a little bit before you decide to invest anything and, or invest in any sort of products for it. But I lived with this system that I created when we first moved in for six months now. And so I felt confident that I knew what those problem areas were and how to fix those. And I knew exactly what storage and um, organizational solutions I needed to make it function a little bit better. If I really needed to, I would have even unscrewed these wire shelves and adjusted them, but they were already pretty much exactly what I needed. This is how I have everything set up in my room right now. It is pretty darn organized, but I really wanted to get everything moved out of the space and back into the closet that day because we just got this room back in order after redoing James's bedroom and organizing the girls' room as well. So I just wanted to, you know, get the chaos under control as quick as I can. And because I'm doing all these projects, again, laundry is piling up. So there will definitely be another girl get that laundry <laughs> done video soon. I'd like to get some of these items here into those cube systems that I've purchased. And I did get two of them. There are two four cube systems. I would have originally liked to have had a six cube one, but they didn't have that available while I was in store. So I just got the two four. And then these are the shoe organizers I was talking about earlier. I've got two boxes of those I'm gonna to put together. And, and then I still had a couple more fabric bins to pick up. I was debating between the beige and the kind of light gray. It looks white, but it is more light gray in person. And so I ultimately went with the beige, so I'm gonna to have to end up making a Target trip to go back and get a couple more of those and return the one. Actually, no, I ended up using that somewhere else. I didn't return it. So now I'm just getting the closet all nice and vacuumed so I can go ahead and start setting up these four cube systems. And they really rocked me, guys. I'm just gonna say that. Didn't go well. Here I am just leisurely enjoying my drink, getting ready to just take on these four cube systems, knock them out in 30 minutes. 
no big deal get the rest of my closet put back together and finish this project today but it doesn't happen that way because this thing was a hunk of junk basically. So I pulled everything out and started putting it together. And by the way, I cut a ton of this footage cause you guys did not need to see the like hour long process of me filling with this thing. But I started putting it together and then one of the sides seemed off. So I thought, oh, well maybe they, I mean, it's a, it's a square, but maybe it needs to go on the other side. So I started putting it on the other side, took it apart, put it on the other side. It was still wonky. And then I ended up thinking, well, maybe it is supposed to be a little bit more fancy smanchy than the average cube system and it's supposed to overhang it's nope it's just manufacturer error the drills were not screwed right i definitely tried everything i thought about just drilling new holes in the holes that were already there but i thought that it would interconnect with the holes that were off and then just create one large hole and so i didn't think that the screws would hold so what happened was we ended up keeping this system anyways we kept both four cube systems the other one set up just fine but Dustin went ahead and just took his drill and screwed new holes um completely new holes so it does look not great but the other cube system is sitting on top of it now we actually put it in the closet underneath the stairs which we didn't plan to do because that's next on our project list to actually build shelves in there but since we already had them and we really needed the organization we thought let's just go ahead and put them underneath there so that worked out and then now I'm just taking off this rail because I'm no longer going to need it with the cube system going here and I'll, it'll also give me more space to set the jewelry okay so obviously that wasn't a part of the plan today so how we're going to fix this is i actually went online to order another one and realized that they have an eight cube system and so i'd obviously rather have one whole system than two four cube systems especially since i'm laying my jewelry across there just having like a solid flat surface that doesn't come apart is way better so that is the silver lining here is that had this cube system not been defective I would not have gone and bought in the eight cube system, which I'd much rather have. So we're gonna get that. I'm gonna have to go pick that up, but that obviously means I'm not getting this done today. I had such high hopes and I started early. I was like working through it quick and then I hit that thing and whew. Anyways, your girl got a little bit frustrated, a little bit. We're gonna pan over to the next slide and hopefully it's me tomorrow getting all of this accomplished. But we'll see, because I don't know if this thing is going to fit in the back of my car either. So it's the same day, and it definitely was not going to fit in the back of my car. I went out and measured, so I had to wait for Dustin to get that, and I wasn't sure if he was going to be able to get it that night. He ended up getting it that night, though, so that was really nice that I was able to kind of finish working on the project and get the vast majority of it done the next day. So anyways, I went and you know hung out with my girlfriend for a little bit, and then I came back and started working on getting my handbags set up and organized a little bit better. So in, in this space with my handbags, I just wanted to make this space feel really really uniform so i wanted all of the same bins and i wanted to see every single handbag and just make it a little bit more beautiful up there I went ahead and ordered two more of these, I'm sorry, four more of these large bins. I really love these. I think they're so beautiful. There's kind of a like silver rim on top and I just like that added detail. So it looks different than like a pantry bin, I guess. And these ones I already had on hand. I didn't need to get any more of those. And so I just like that it feels really uniform and holds all my smaller handbags that don't necessarily need a larger bin. When I woke up, Dustin had put together this eight cube system and thankfully it wasn't wonky and everything was manufactured correctly. So I was really thankful that he did that because I definitely didn't want to fool with this thing and it was nice to just jump into the project the next day. I love that it's a solid system so I can set my jewelry organizers on it, which means I can go ahead and buy the proper jewelry organizers. So you guys know that the acrylic 
hangers I was looking at for my handbags were $10 a piece and I was really not wanting to do that. But thankfully I found some kind of like S shape hooked ones that were rose gold and really pretty. And I think they were $6, I'm sorry, $12 for six. So definitely way better than $10 a piece. So I went ahead and ordered those because I was only gonna need six of them after I got the other four bins I was just talking about to fit the rest of my handbags in. So that was a way that I was able to create a lot more space than I thought. And also the acrylic ones wouldn't have fit in the, in the little um, spaces since I took away that rail. So I had to use those. So it all just kind of worked out there as well. And now I'm working on getting those fabric bins all put together so I can start on my shoes and start getting some of my accessories and undergarments into these bins. Up on the third floor In my chateau I highly recommend these shoe organizers for a somewhat inexpensive way to organize your shoes. Really love them, can't tell you how much I love them enough, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a tutorial because if you don't do a certain things, then it can be kind of aggravating and you'll be fooling with like one of these for 10 minutes. So just make sure these little tabbies that you push them in really, really, really well because they have to be able to snap into those other pieces that you see on the floor there. And if they're not pushed all the way down, they will not snap in. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you do that. And also you're gonna pay attention to which way it opens and those tabs that you see on the bottom. If you plan on stacking them, you wanna make sure, and connecting them, you wanna make sure that all of those tabs are on the bottom and that the door is placed on the right side. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to go back through and redo them and trust me, your fingers are gonna be hurting a little bit by the time you get done with this because the plastic is really thick. So you definitely don't wanna to have to do more work than um, you already have to do. I love that it has the vent on the back to keep air flowing into the little cubbies and you're gonna hear a click on each side when you push it down and it's really solid, it doesn't come out. And then I open the door and then I'm gonna push these little tabs out on the bottom so that we could connect it to the next one that we're gonna build. Now I'm just finishing up another one and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna connect them. So first of all, you're gonna to wanna to push in any tabs that you don't plan on connecting that have happened to pop out because you want it to lie flat on whatever surface you're gonna put it on. And then you're just gonna take those tabs that we popped out earlier and you're going to place them in these little slits that are on each box and it just kind of snaps and pops in. You actually kind of hear it pop down, you feel it, and it is solid, it is not going anywhere. I really, really love them again. And I did wanna mention though, like I think if the manufacturer were to watch this, I would suggest one thing, which would be to include one of those pop out tabs that are on the bottom in the actual middle of each one of these because then you could connect the rows. And I think that that would be a really good idea. I really didn't need to do that, although, Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it probably would have been good for me because I ended up having to kind of place them on opposite sides just to make sure that they were all uniform. So I'm not having to like, like make sure that they're all lined up. And that's just like a tedious thing for me that no one probably cares about. But I just thought if they were one unit, it would probably be a little bit easier for a lot of people that use them. Um, but other than that, like that's me really, really nitpicking. Now I'm just getting them placed and you can see I ended up moving them to opposite sides to make sure that they are all like in the exact same spot. You guys though, isn't this already looking so much better <laughs> than having all of my shoes just kind of stuck in a random bin and looking chaotic? And so now what my plan was, was trying to figure out a way that I could organize my flip-flops within these cube bins that I have here. And so I decided to use some extra packing cubes that I had on hand to do that. I thought it was a really good use of them and I was really happy that I actually had extras to do this with, but I would even suggest buying them for this purpose because I'm really happy with how this turned out. And so what I've done is I've organized my um, sandals in two kinds. So I have sandals that are more relaxed and have a back on them. And then I have more of kind of like your flip flop style sandals as well. And then I'm going to have those in separate cubes stacked on top of each other. And then the three pairs of sandals that I'll probably continue to wear throughout the summer sitting right on top so I can access those super easy. Cause I probably won't get into the other sandals the rest of this summer. So really excited that that worked out. Um, and then I put my boots also in one of these square cubes as well. And so that allowed me to display every single pair of heels and tennis shoes that I had. So I was able to keep out those pretty blue sandals that you got, guys saw at the beginning of the video. And I was just thrilled that it ended up perfect. Also, I was able to 
With my flat shoes, I was able to put in multiple pairs of flats, so that helped. My heels, my tall heels are the only ones that had to go in sideways, and I'm a size nine and a half shoe to give you guys an idea, but all of my shorter heels and my flats were able to sit up nicely, and my tennis shoes were able to sit up nicely as well. And I ended up putting my tennis shoes in backwards because I just thought that it looked a little bit more aesthetically pleasing that way. Yeah, here is where I realized, oh, I can set these up because I originally I didn't think I was going to be able to set up any of my shoes. So these this size worked really well for my shoes and the kids shoes. And actually, we took Dustin's shoes because we're going to do this on his side as well. And we put his shoes in there and they fit in this size, too. And he's in a size like 10 and a half, 11 in men's and it wasn't supposed to fit that size for men so of course his have to lay sideways but if you need like extra space and more cubes which is what we needed both of us need you can definitely get away with the entire family using the smaller size but if you do have like if your husband has a larger size foot than 11 then i would probably go up to the larger size in these because we can just close the door with his laying sideways so just keep that in mind Now I'm getting kind of my loungewear put into these bins. I ended up using three different bins for loungewear. So one is sets that are kind of like cuter. One is for more athletic stuff. And then the other one is for like the, those random like big t-shirts and comfy sweatpants that you wear probably more often that you want than you want to wear, but it's just your go-to because comfort is key sometimes. And I was really glad that it did end up freeing up one of these rose um, storage bins that I needed. So I ended up actually having to think through like what else could I put in here because I had more storage than what I actually needed, which I was shocked at. And then I'm also using these kind of fabric dividers to place some of my undergarments in. I have one plastic one on the bottom and then I use the fabric ones everywhere else. So I'll link those two because they're really helpful in these like cube systems that I'm using so that you can actually organize the cube system because that was the only thing I was kind of concerned about is like is it just going to be like a huge deep mess in each one of these cube systems but ended up working out really nicely with stuff I already had on hand so now I'm just kind of going over how I want to hang up the clothes just going back and looking at my plan to make sure I grab things in the right order but the first thing I wanted to do is go ahead and get my off-season clothes hung back up and just make sure that I included every single thing in my plan and turns out I didn't because I had these kind of like they're not really sweaters they're not really t-shirts and I didn't plan for these so I ended up actually putting them I believe in front of my sweaters because sometimes I do wear this sort of stuff like under sweaters and so now I'm just organizing whatever's in these bins and I really like having all of my seasons out and I cannot believe I'm saying that because I've never done that before in my life but I think that I'm really going to like it this way. I just, I like my closet looking full. I really thought I would always like it to look a little bit more blank, but I think for me, it just leaves more space for me to not clean up after myself. And I'm just much more prone to just laying stuff everywhere. So this kind of holds me accountable and it's working out nicely so far. I did this, I finished the project a week ago from when I'm doing this voiceover. And I wanna share some tips about how you know what to move on each season. So for years I've used the tag method, which is basically putting a tag on every single piece of clothing you have. And then when you wear that piece of clothing, you remove the tag as you see me doing here right now. And then whatever tags are left over at the end of a season or at the end of two seasons, whichever way you wanna do it, those are the items maybe you need to consider moving on or you know reselling uh, to put towards something that you like or will wear better or maybe just to get rid of it to minimize your wardrobe a bit now I've always used a tag system um, but I had a girlfriend at a girls night not that long ago go well why don't you just reverse your hangers and then just put them back in the right way when you wear something and I thought uh, yeah why don't I do that why do I spend so much time tagging everything but I think it's because I didn't always have this rail that you see on the top I used to have kind of the, that little piece above it and so it was just more of a pain to reverse the hangers than it is to put the tag on it um, but the last six months in full transparency I haven't been taking the tags off I'm kind of at the point with my wardrobe that there's not much that I really want to get rid of 
And so I am doing, I am reversing the hangers here just to kind of hold myself accountable a little bit so that I could maybe replace or swap items out for slightly better versions of the items that I already have, or maybe a different color palette. But I'm pretty happy with what I have. I, I typically now just add in like a couple new pieces to my wardrobe just as a way to kind of like excite me for the new season. And I typically try to get those secondhand. You guys know I've already talked about the real real a couple times on here. It's like my favorite place to shop for secondhand or gently use items or even new items. Um, and then sometimes I'll go to thrift stores and my girlfriends and I swap. So I try to do that before buying anything new. But one thing I always have trouble not buying new is jeans. I just have such a hard time finding jeans. I fluctuate so much in my weight. So I have to have like, let's be honest, like four different sizes on hand just to accommodate that. So. It is what it is for my jeans, but I try in other ways, you know? So now I'm getting all my dresses put back in and getting those organized by color. And then I also ended up putting my slips on the right side of this and jackets on the right side as well. I did originally think about putting some of my athletic stuff in this area too, but I had the extra storage bin. And so I just thought it would look so much better and more uniform just to only have dresses or long items anyways there. So that's what I decided to do. And I love that my handbags are right above it because it just makes it so easy to create a full outfit. And so that's what I would suggest too when you're going through and organizing your closet like what how is this going to function well like how am i going to actually want to use this space and try your best to figure out how to create a system that works that way because if something feels even slightly aggravating to you it's going like when you're doing a project like this it's going to get increasingly more aggravating the longer you live with it and eventually you're just going to want to redo it so if you can plan it out i do think that it will benefit you in the long run and keep you from reorganizing period or you know really quickly However, you know how I got, you guys know how I feel about like, if you just feel like doing it, do it because mentally and emotionally having your space organized, even if you have to go back and tweak it a little bit is really just, it's just awesome, <laughs> you know? So anyways, now I'm just getting some of those shoe boxes that I didn't know if I was going to have an extra bin for put away. So I'm so happy about that. And this is what I have left to do. I have all of these bags. These are both bags that need to go in bins and bags that need to hang up. And then this is all my jewelry that I need, that I need to sort and organize. But my Amazon order was not gonna come in until the next day. So these just had to live there, but I was so thankful to get everything else done. And then these are some of the items that I'm getting rid of, just a handful of shoes and tops and some jean shorts that I know I'm for sure not gonna fit in. And even if I did fit in them, I probably would not like them anyways. Now, originally I was going to hang a big piece of artwork on that one side of the wall, but then I was up kind of looking over my Pinterest board for fall, which I create every single year. And typically I print it out and like I make a collage, print it out, and then just kind of use some tape to stick it on my wall. And I was like, why not make this the artwork? Number one, it's gonna be so much cheaper because all the artwork was at least 100 to $200 that I was looking at that was that big but also how cool is this to walk in and like be super inspired by having all of these outfit ideas it would just really encourage me to shop my closet and to use what I have and to put some outfits together probably in a better way than I would if I didn't have this inspiration in front of me every single day so I found this four pack of frames that are the perfect size for printer paper on Amazon for $20 for four and they're not glass but they are made so well for the price I'm kind of shocked at how well they're made for the price honestly but the front does look like glass and kind of feel like glass even though it's not I really thought it was glass but the reviews say it's not glass so I don't know my four bins came in so now I'm just adding in the rest of my handbags and trying to lay those out so that they make the absolute most sense in there I have all my hammock bags in one and then kind of some of my other oddly shaped bags and the other ones and then I'm just going to end up putting this one straw tote in there and hanging up the other one it's all that could fit and I'm just putting them back up into my closet and I did realize here that the um, divider was not even um, between the two so I had to kind of adjust and just move those all the big bins up and the little bins down I really didn't want to do that because I use those hammock bags quite often but it is what it is I might swap it a little bit in the future so that it makes more sense but I didn't feel like falling with it that day and then I also just picked up this like inexpensive rug from Target I think it was like $30 
I want your, your guys' opinion here. Do you guys think that it should be bigger? Like just one size bigger? I kind of like that if I do have shoes on, I can walk around it so I'm not stepping on it with my shoes. So let me know your thoughts. I did find a really cute one on Wayfair that I like. Also, these are the jewelry bins that I got. I got one that was for like my more expensive jewelry and then another one that was for my costume jewelry that completely separated so that I could lay it out across the entire thing so I can see them all and be inspired by it if I want to or I can put it all together so I don't have to see the clutter. And really, it just depends on the mood I'm in, on whether whether I'd like to see all my jewelry or not. So this was really a perfect fit for me. And these are both the same brand. I'll be sure to link these as well in the description. I really like them. They come in a variety of colors and they like this um, store on Amazon has so many different options for jewelry organizing. And I think for like even travel organizing. So the only thing I might try to tweak just a little bit is how I organize my, my gold necklaces, like my real gold necklaces. I do have them in the actual jewelry box that's all together with the drawers. And inside one of those drawers has those little like squares that you see to the right of me. And so I put them individually in those and I think they're fine. I am a little concerned that they're going to get tangled, but they shouldn't as long as the box doesn't move around. But I really would like something a little bit better to organize my necklaces. And so I was just wondering what you guys use to organize your necklaces. I would prefer something that doesn't, like I don't really want a necklace tree. I don't like those. I feel like I've, I just have it. I've used them in the past and I just don't like them. So if you have any like creative ways that you organize your necklaces or if you have found you know a jewelry box that has really good necklace organization definitely let me know this is kind of random and has absolutely nothing it is really random actually it has nothing to do with closet organization but i'm sitting here looking at this dress and it's kind of like a peasant style dress and we have the renaissance fair coming into town saturday and i am so excited for it you guys like i don't think i've been this excited for something in a long time i hope that they have like a turkey leg i'm gonna buy a fairy glitter necklace and i'm going to throw an axe and i'm so stoked in florida they were a pretty big deal i feel like the renaissance fairs down there were huge growing up and we even went on like field trips to them and i remember being like a teenager and thinking i was too cool to dress up and now i'm like yes let's dress up boots you know swords hats what you know whatever <laughs> so um i we didn't buy costumes this year um but we might next year the girls are probably just gonna wear like uh, princess dresses and james only only costume he has now that still fits him is a mario costume so if he wants to dress up in a mario costume i you know who cares i'll let him do it but that's gonna be a lot of fun and i'm like really looking forward to it do you guys like renaissance festivals i'm just the older i get like all the festivals all the times or excuses to dress up i can i'm going to take them almost there yay i'm just getting the jewelry boxes put on top of this eight cube system i'm again so glad that i got the eight cube system instead of having the separate the two four cube systems and then i probably do need one more jewelry box because i have these two extras that you're going to see me sit here one has hair clips like big like fancy hair clips bejeweled hair clips and then the other one has like random large necklaces so i need to get another jewelry case that will fit kind of larger items. I'm not my husband when it comes to hanging pictures on the wall. I'm not detail oriented. I literally hammer it and stick it up there. Things are crooked, they're not level. But in this space, I definitely wanted to at least give it a go. And so I saw a YouTube shorts method, which this probably isn't the exact method, but I just kind of made this one up. So I took the measurements that I wanted and I figured out the measurements I wanted between each frame, which was two inches. And then I laid them out, put my frog tape on the back, and then I'm going to take a nail and poke a hole where the hanger is. And it, it was grooved, so I was able to find the exact center really easily. Now, I probably wouldn't be able to do that on other frames like this, but because it had the groove, I was able to do that. And then I'm just going to pull this tape off of here and go put it on the wall exactly where I wanted. And because it's tape, it's straight, and everything came out really level and pretty precise. Only thing that you're going to see me do that I wanted to change a little bit was to remove the stand from the back of these. It made it stick up off the wall and I didn't like the way that looked so I just went back and forth one time with the stand and it came right off without messing up any other part of the frame. 
but I am thinking about adding another row above it and another row below it. But I definitely want to know your thoughts once you guys see the whole thing because I am worried it might look too cluttered if I do that. I'm not sure yet. Let me know your thoughts. Say you think about it too when the lights go out and there's no doubt that I should be. I'm adding back in a command hook. I wanted to get a prettier one, but I already had this one, so it works fine for now. And these were the S hooks that I got. They finally came in and they're rose gold. I think they're really pretty. You can get, if you want to get like a basic black or white one, they, I think like a pack of 22 is $12. I might be a little bit off there, but it's way less expensive. The rose gold was definitely more expensive than the majority of them. And so I'm just hanging in my few bags that I had left. And this is how the entire space turned out. I love that all of my handbags are nice and uniform and I really love having these mood boards displayed so when I walk in I'm excited to get dressed for the day and to shop my own closet and I also really like that all of my jewelry is displayed I've been wearing it way more now that it is organized and nice and my shoes it goes without saying that they are much much 100% better than what they were looking like before and I've slipped some of my slippers in between between the bins as well. I ended up having more than enough rose bins and I actually had an extra one on hand which you're gonna see in just a second and I've made that like a grab and go um, command area so I can unload my purses and reload them and that has been phenomenal you guys i've been wearing my handbags a lot more now too i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe until next time guys bye